Well, for more on this topic, we're now joined by Scott Schober, President and CEO of Berkeley Veritronic Systems. Hi, Scott. Good to see Hi. you. Hi. Thanks for having me on. This past week, the Trump administration released this proposed budget that would slash funding for a variety of government agencies that have traditionally backed artificial intelligence research. China spending more? Is this a prime opportunity for China to move ahead of the U.S.? Yes, absolutely here. And this is a very pivotal if you think about it. Trump's proposed cutbacks here are actually going to be devastating. Uh, the U.S. should really be increasing its spending because R&D for AI is critical really for the future, the next couple decades. And China has increased it. In fact, China's even invested in American companies, over 50 American companies China is putting money in that specialize in AI. And that's going to be able to be monetized and capitalized in China, benefiting China. So the, the U.S. really needs to step it up if they want to stay in the game. Right now, they're slightly ahead of China. China is soon to surpass them as far as AI development, especially on the R&D side. But to be fair, the Trump administration is talking about a 10 percent uh, cut. This is not, you know, 50 percent. And we know, uh, Scott, that a senior U.S. member of Commerce, you mentioned this, is now looking at possible legislation that would block some technology investments um, by some of these Chinese companies. We know the Pentagon, as you said, is very concerned about Chinese investment. Mm -hmm. Last year, President Obama did block the Chinese takeover of the German chip maker uh, Axitron or on uh, national security grounds. Um, is the U.S. putting itself in jeopardy in some way? And, and can they do this legally? Well, well, certainly they can do it. The challenge is, I think, a, a lot of the AI is being steered toward military and defense. And that's really the concern from a national security standpoint. However, AI is really exploding in so many different areas, be it uh, uh, delivering packages, self-driving cars. There's so many other things where there is um, learning processes happening to improve productivity, and it's going to affect jobs across the entire U.S. It's really going to affect jobs globally. So this is a very, very important thing, and they need to get it right here. They don't want to cut back and skimp on the R&D at this stage because AI, in my opinion, is really about to blossom and explode. We could liken it maybe to the uh, going back to when electricity came about. It changed not just the fact that we could turn a light on, but it really changed everybody's lives across the globe. That same possibility can happen here with AI. Very powerful. So we know the company uh, Baidu in China. Mm -hmm. It's called the Google of China. It's a pioneer in artificial, artificial intelligence related fields like speech recognition. The, this year they opened a joint company, Government Laboratory. Is the amount of money that China is investing right now enough to surpass the U.S.? Or are we just as advanced in some areas like voice-controlled automation? Well, well, certainly we are extremely advanced. I don't want to minimize that right here in the U.S. But proportionally, China is increasing its spending drastically and continues to do it. Why? Because they see this as the future. And what's happening is companies that are looking for funding, they can now go to China and they can get 10 times more funding in China. In, in some cases, a China startup can get a million dollars if they're focused in AI. You'll never see that here in the United States. That's a big problem, and that has to change if the U.S. wants to keep up with this growing demand. And it's not just um, in intelligence. It's, it's in uh, biotechnology. They yeah. now have these automated, like, avatar characters that are going to be uh, counseling and providing therapy for uh, elderly citizens, uh, people going through surgeries, everything. There's a lot of technology that is turning towards avatars or robots to do things in, in replace of humans. Um, for this long, up to this point, was the U.S. the biggest leader? Yes, I think they certainly were. The U.S. and certainly Europe. But again, the focus in China. China sees very clearly what is needed here, and they've got their sights set, and they've got the spending going on. They're setting up research labs. They're doing it here in the U.S., and they're doing it there in China, bringing that technology over and capitalizing on it. So I think that critical point for any country is spending the right money right now in R&D, and that will take you to the next level. And as you mentioned, uh, your point well taken, it's in so many verticals now. It's not just in narrow areas. 
it's really going to be an all different vertical. So there'll be an entire job shift that will come about as a result of AI affecting all of our lives. Scott Schober, thank you so much. Great to see you.